Thank you very much. And um, welcome also from me and on behalf of the Bonn Credit Center and of the International Office of Bonn University. Um, and, and welcome to this second day for international um, doctoral and postdoctoral researchers. We had one last year and was already a success. And now I see even more faces here. And we know from the registration that we had people here from more than 40 nations, which is really amazing. Um, so um, yeah, welcome to, to this day. Um, my name is Kai Six. I'm the executive manager of the Bonn Credit Center, and it's my pleasure to, to introduce you to this event with some introductory remarks um, on careers in German academia. Before I actually start, I wanted to recall last year's um, day for international researchers, um, which took right, right here, a place right here. Um, and at this event, we actually asked for your feedback regarding services that the University of Bonn provides for the international researchers. And um, I, I want to briefly summarize three key aspects of this feedback that you gave us then, and three um, measures that we took based uh, upon your suggestions. So first, um, last year's participants appreciated the then newly founded academic and professional skills training program of Bonn University, which has the title Promotion Plus or Doctorate Plus. But you also said us that um, the offerings in English were too limited and um, that the courses were always booked within the hour. And, and we um, took this feedback very seriously and only three months after that, the, the rectorate of the university decided to equip the Bonn Credit Center with more resources to extend this program. And we, are now able to, um, we have now been able to double the courses in English, and there will be even more of these courses in the terms to come. And here's, here's a short um, list of them. Um, and I really want to take the opportunity and thank the rectorate and Professor Zimmer for this generous support for the, for the interests of the international um, doctoral students. So thank you. Um, a second point was that you further felt that the university administration was not always exactly prepared for the needs of international researchers. And, um, particularly when it came to bureaucratic and formal procedures, like the hiring process. Um, there, there were actually some of you, and I'm quite sure there are also some of you here today, who signed a work contract in German without having the slightest idea what the contract said. Um, and I think that we had a solution and now have a solution for this problem because over the last year our um, human resources department prepared translations for all relevant documents in, with regard to the um, employment of researchers. And um, whenever a new person is now hired and goes to this human resource department, he or she will be, um, provide, will be provided, provided um, these translations, whenever you're not fully fluent of English, uh, of German, and um, so you will be able to understand what you sign if you do so. And a third aspect I wanted to mention is um, we talked about the welcome culture of Bond University. And um, we were very content to see that most of you were satisfied with the offerings that we have, particularly with the program promotion um, within the international office, which, which offers social and cultural events, but also individual help with formal procedures when you arrive at Bonn. Um, but what, what you missed was a kind of a formal um, meeting, a gathering at which um, all new international uh, researchers would meet once a year and would get in contact with the relevant um, points of contact at the university. And um, taking up this feedback, we now organized an event um, which will be held for the first time in the Festsaal on December 5th for all new international um, doctoral researchers, a welcome night for those of you who are new to Bonn, and we are very committed to continue um, this um, and to repeat this event yearly from now on. So why, why do I tell you all this? Um, because I wanted to highlight and to stress how valuable your feedback is from us, uh, for, for us. It's exactly what Professor Zimmer just said. Um, we, we will not be able to solve all the problems about which you tell us, 
immediately and um, particularly housing will stay a topic, that's quite sure. But we definitely try our best to provide you with a comfortable and very productive research environment. So um, providing us with feedback is therefore one important aspect of this day here and this event here. And I would like to encourage you to take this opportunity and talk to the many representatives of Bonn University who are present here today. But networking is not the only factor um, about which this day today here is. Um, our event has another important aim, which is reflected in the title, which has been here, but <laughs> it's no more, um, Careers in German Academia. And so today we hope to provide you with information and assistance in planning your next career steps. In an online survey among doctoral students that we conducted two years ago, 40% um, of the international participants favored an academic career above all other career options. And yet another 44% hoped to pursue a career in science even though they were interested in other career tracks as well. So to address this enormous interest, we decided to today focus exclusively on academic career prospects for international researchers in Germany. So what do careers at German universities look like? Which are the next steps after a doctorate? And where do you need to proceed from there? You may take a look at the slide and see that um, there are several ways of obtaining a professorship at a German university. Um, today, though, we would like to focus on your very next step towards a career in academia, the chances to get a position as a postdoc or postdoctoral researcher. And the, the postdoc position has become an indispensable step in many disciplines. Postdocs are required to further deepen their expertise in specialized fields of research and to acquire novel skills and research methods. They are also expected to publish their uh, scientific results in peer-reviewed academic journals. In terms of career development, the postdoc period is a phase of transition. So on the one hand, it's a, step, it's a first step towards academic independence. And for this reason, many people recommend changing places after the doctorate, so to say, to, to get rid of your supervisors and mentors and start a new independent career. On the other hand, um, the, the postdoctoral research is still um, conducted under the guidance of experienced researchers and is still regarded as a phase of learning. So the postdoc period um, usually takes up two to six years, often divided in two phases. So a first postdoc of two to three years, sometimes followed from a second postdoc afterwards. So you might now wonder how you will be able to obtain such a postdoctoral position. And often they are advertised by research institutions worldwide. For these open positions, there are many job databases. For example, eurexus.eu, many of know, you might know that at which you can maintain your personal profile and will be informed continuously about open positions in your research field. Alternatively, though, you may apply for a postdoctoral scholarship or position at one of many third-party funding organizations. And this is what we'd like to discuss in this very session before the coffee break. Applying for a third-party funded postdoctoral project is not only your, your chance to take initiative with regard to your own career. It is only a possibility to, to collect experiences in this field of acquiring external funds, which is inevitable in science and academia nowadays, and also a way to test your personal market value on the field of the academic job market. So, Starting with our program night now, um, I will um, hand over to Miriam Dierke, who will provide you with a short overview, and these then will um, introduce our three experts um, today, who will um, tell you something about their specific offerings for postdoctoral researchers. But before I close, I would like to present those people to you 
who have not only expertly organized this event, but, but will also assist you with any questions you may have during the day. And I would very, very much like to thank Clara Kaminski, Joanna burger Jon, and Sandra Kröger, um, who have been really a, a great, uh, have been done a great job in organizing this uh, event here today. Thank you very much. Now I wish you an inspiring afternoon, many new acquaintances and also some fun and a good eat which we'll provide for coffee and um, dinner afterwards and um, thank you very much for your attention. Thanks. <laughs>